Good morning from your National Weather Service office in San Angelo, Texas. This is your updated weather briefing for Monday, July 1st, 2024. Key points this week. Expect hot conditions to continue through the 4th of July holiday with afternoon highs of 100 to 105 degrees expected. However, slightly cooler temperatures, along with a chance of isolated scattered showers and thunderstorms, are possible as we go into Friday and Saturday. However, the triple digit heat will continue through at least Thursday, afternoon highs of 100 to 105 degrees, with heat index values perhaps a degree or two even higher. So we just want to continue to stress to drink plenty of water, especially if you're going to be outside this week. Take frequent breaks in air conditioning or shade, wear lightweight and light colored clothing, and most importantly, watch for signs of heat-related illness. Again, we are expecting highs through Thursday of 100 to 105 degrees widespread across West Central Texas, with those heat index values creeping up to around 105, perhaps 106 degrees. And taking a look at our extended forecast, again, you can see that we do have slightly cooler temperatures on tap for Friday and Saturday, along with a chance of at least isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms. We will certainly be keeping an eye on that, so be sure and check back on the forecast as we progress through the week. But the main story, at least through the first few days and into the 4th of July holiday, will be the very hot conditions, highs of 100 to 105 degrees, with mostly sunny skies, and south winds of around 10 to 20 miles per hour each afternoon. And taking a quick look at the drought summary, you can see that we have moderate to now severe droughts expanding into portions of Crockett, Schleichler, Tom Green, and Erion, as well as northwestern Sterling County. And taking a quick look at the 6 to 10 day temperature and precipitation outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, Taking us through uh, mid-July again, we could see a slightly better chance of above normal precipitation. Both those highs look to remain generally near to above normal. But again, we will look for the possibility of some slightly cooler temperatures later this week. And thank you for listening to this briefing, and have a good day.